In this video, we're going to be showing you some quick fixes for mobile data not working on Android devices. Hey guys, it's Joel here from Make Tech Easier. Cellular data, mobile data, whatever you want to call it, is one of those things that only becomes a necessity after you've been using a smartphone for a while. It's only once you lose connectivity that you start to realize you don't know how to get anywhere without Google Maps, and you don't know how to communicate with anyone for anything other than WhatsApp. It's safe to say when mobile data stops working on your Android, it's a very big deal. So here are some tips on how to get it back. A simple and powerful fix for data not working on your Android device is to enter an SCRTN or a special code to reset the network. Note that this fix will only work for phones using CDMA networks. In the US as of 2019, these networks are Sprint, Verizon and US Cellular. Assuming you're with a CDMA network, go to your phone dial pad and enter the following code depending on your device. Please note that phone carriers are slowly trying to phase out CDMA networks as they seek to move wholly to the faster, more recent LTE standards. So this particular fix may not exist for that much longer. Starting with the simplest solution, it's possible that during an update or simply in the phone's default settings, the network mode, 3G or 4G, of your phone is set to one that doesn't offer optimal coverage. If you have a 4G phone, for example, you should always make sure 4G is selected in your network. Or if your phone isn't 4G but you're running on an OS that features it as a network mode, by routing for example, your phone may be trying to connect to 4G signals that it's not capable of. Changing this is simple. Go to Settings, Mobile Data, Network Mode, then switch to one that best suits your phone. As my phone is a 4G, I go for 2G slash 3G slash 4G auto so that it always tries to connect to the best signal available. Some will scoff at the very mention of suggestions like reboot your phone and remove and insert your SIM card, but these should always be the first port of call when trying to fix mobile data issues. Another option is to test your phone with another SIM card to see if the issue originates in the phone or the card. There's also an extra little trick to rebooting your phone that could help. Before rebooting, turn on aeroplane mode and wait for 30 seconds. Then turn aeroplane mode off. If you still don't have data, turn aeroplane mode back on, turn your phone off, wait for a minute, turn your phone back on, turn aeroplane mode off, wait for 30 seconds, then turn mobile data on. If this fails, try the following fixes. Access point names, or APNs, are the means by which your mobile network provider connects your phone to the mobile internet. It sets your phone up with all the crucial settings like IP addresses and gateways to hopefully get you connected. However, this process can sometimes go wrong and require a reset. The following shows you how to do it. Go to settings, mobile data slash wireless controls slash wireless networks, tap mobile networks, then access point names. You should see a list of APNs. Tap the menu icon at the top right, then reset to default. This option doesn't exist in the APN settings of all phones, but some devices like OnePlus 3 give you an option of leaving the APN protocol field blank. If that's the case in your network's APN settings, make sure it says IPv4 slash IPv6 instead. Likewise with other devices, make sure it says this than just one of the two. It's a sad but not uncommon occurrence for your APN settings to get out of whack after an Android software update. But if a standard reset doesn't fix the problem, then you may need to enter your APN address manually. Go to your APN list using the method in the previous tip. Tap the plus icon or the three dot menu button, then new APN. Enter all the APN details for your network. Save your new APN settings, then select them from the APN list on your device. 
Every Android phone lets you set down your own mobile data limits and warnings for when you're about to reach your limit. These aren't usually switched on by default, but maybe you set a limit previously, have upgraded your tariff, and have forgotten to update your mobile data limit accordingly. To check this, go to Settings, Mobile Data, or Mobile Usage. You'll see a graph showing your data usage along with a whole bunch of settings. Make sure your data limits in the graph correspond with what your network allows by dragging the limit up or down in the graph. Alternatively, you can turn off all data limits by unticking the Limit Mobile Data Usage box. So there it is, the key to getting you back online just when you thought you were getting sent back to the Stone Age. Of course, it would be ideal if there was a universal single fix for your mobile data issues, but the tech world just isn't that simple anymore. If you've tried all the above, but you still can't connect, then you should contact your mobile provider for a new SIM card. Did you find this tutorial useful? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Well, that's it from me. If you love tech as much as we do, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn the bell on, and you'll be notified by our latest and greatest tech savvy videos. See you next time.